This is Autofocus, the Philippines' premier motor show. Here are our features on this episode of Electronic Magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A van from Hyundai, the Staria, and a subcompact SUV from Volkswagen, the T-Cross SE. On Autopedia, we'll talk about changing the oil in your car. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the GAC GS3 MZU Media Drive as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Where the all-new Mitsubishi Triton. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode with Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Hyundai. This car review checks out what Hyundai's top-of-the-line Staria offers to those looking for a premium van. Hyundai made a name for itself as well as for other automakers from South Korea with Starix back in the day when Filipinos didn't yet trust vehicles made from that part of the world. Back then, the Starix, even second-hand ones, became popular mainly from word of mouth from buyers who found the people move an affordable, reliable, and very comfortable MPV or van for the family. Today, people no longer think twice about buying a Korean brand car and design. Performance, modern functionality come into play more than price when it comes to choice of model or variant, from sedans to SUVs or crossovers and MPVs or vans. In the premium MPV or van segment, Hyundai now offers a Staria, which replaces the Starix in the local market. The Staria comes in five variants from the entry level Hyundai Staria 2.2 CRDI 6 MT, priced at 1.56 million pesos, to the top of the line 7 seater 2.2 CRDI Premium Plus 8 AT all-wheel drive 7-seater, priced at 3.03 million pesos. The CRDI Premium Plus 8AT all-wheel drive 7-seater stands out in among MPVs and family vans because of its very modern and futuristic design from the front to the side and the rear. The fascia is quite distinct with a huge grille flanked by LED matrix headlights contrasted by the thin LED DRL light strip running across the whole width of the front. The silhouette is also quite distinct with a smooth slope up front and the near right-angled chop at the back. Quite distinctive is the huge expanse of tinted glass running all the way from the front to the rear. The look is also quite modern from the back with the LED combination lamps lining the corner. The top of line Staria features dual LED headlamps with low and high projection and auto light control function and rear LED fog lamps. The large side mirrors can power adjust and fold and feature integrated repeater lamps. It can also be distinguished from its siblings by glossy black front grille with copper accents, 18-inch alloy wheels, rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp, chrome outside door handles, and the expansive powered sunroof. The huge sliding doors on the side are powered, so is the tailgate. The Staria takes up a large space on the road, 5,253 millimeters long, 1,970 millimeters wide, and 1,990 millimeters tall, with a 3,273 millimeter long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 186 mm. This translates into a very large and roomy cabin, especially for the top of the line seven seater with four captain's chairs for the driver and front and second row passengers. The third row features a bench seat for three. 
Upholstered in premium Napa leather, the seats are well bolstered and cushioned. The cabin's chairs in the second row are particularly comfortable. Hyundai calls them premium relaxation seats and they slide and recline electronically, are ventilated and feature ottomans or folding leg rests. The driver and front passenger also get power adjusting seats with the driver also benefiting from lumbar support. The top end Staria cabin is well appointed with fit and finish that can only be described as refined and premium. There's a 10.25 inch TFT LCD display for the instrument cluster setting up the dash in front of the driver. On the center of the dash sits the 8-inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system that comes with AM-FM radio, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth with voice recognition, and on the top of the line Staria, a Bose surround sound speaker system. Other comfort and convenience features include smart key entry and push-button start, overhead console LED lamp, mood lamp, electrochromic rear-view mirror, sun visors with illuminated warranty mirrors, central door locking and automatic air conditioning system. For a large MPV or van, the Staria is easy to drive or operate. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features buttons for the audio as well as smart cruise control. The driver gets a great view of the road up front and to the side with the expansive windshield and side windows. A surround view monitor helps with maneuvering in crowd or narrow streets. This is helped along by a blind spot view monitor. Parking is helped along by parking distance warning. The Staria is powered by a 2.2-liter or 2199cc CRDI VGT engine that generates 177 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. This is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with an all-wheel drive system. Driver has the option to choose drive modes, Eco, Normal, Smart, and Sport. Panel shifters behind the steering help driver get some control over gear shifts. The Staria is a comfortable MPV or people mover with a suspension system featuring McPherson struts with coil spring in front and rigid 5-link axle and coil springs in the rear. Stopping power comes from a brake system featuring 18-inch discs in front and 17-inch discs in the rear. The top of line Staria is equipped with Hyundai SmartSense, a suite of advanced driver assist and safety features that include lane keeping assist, lane following assist, forward collision avoidance assist, manual speed limit assist, Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, Junction, Surround View Monitors, Front and Rear Parking Distance Warning, Rear Occupant Alert, and Blind Spot View Monitor. The Staria is also equipped with Electronic Stability Control, Anti-Lock Braking System, Hill Start Assist Control, and Electronic Parking Brake with Auto Hold. Other standard safety and security features include Dual, Side and Curtain Airbags, Child Lock, Child Anchor, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, and Immobilizer. More and more Starias can be seen on the roads these days. You should not come as a surprise to those who like the modern looks and well thought out features of Hyundai's People Mover. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Limits where the all new Mitsubishi Triton drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. I'm a revolution. Suzu Demon. I'm a revolution. Into new heights. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Are you looking for an affordable 4x4 pickup? JMC Philippines have several for you to choose from. They are made by Chinese automaker JMC Motor Group in a venture with Ford in China. Two pickup models are being brought in by local distributor JMC Philippines, a member of the Estara Group. 
the Grand Avenue, and the Vegas. So for the Grand Avenue, we have four variants, starting with the 4x2 manual. We have a 4x4 manual, a 4x2 automatic, and a 4x4 automatic. So this particular version is the high-end, which is the 4x4 automatic. It retails for 1,569,000 pesos. It has a 2.3-liter diesel engine. Since this is a joint venture with Ford, so this engine came from the Ford line. It's the 2.3-liter Puma engine, 177 horsepower, 450 newton meters of torque, and it has a ZF or ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. So aside from the Grand Avenue, we also have the Vigus. This retails at 959,000 pesos for the 4x2 manual. And for the 4x4 automatic, it's 1.11 million pesos. So the Vigus, this is a basic pickup with a 2.5-liter diesel engine. Again, this was developed jointly with Ford in China. And this would be our offering for the fleet or those who are looking for a workhorse. The Lausita Motors Incorporated local authorized Ferrari distributor has brought in the Ferrari Roma Spider, the latest soft top convertible from the Italian maker of supercars. Yeah, we have here the Ferrari Roma Spider. It's a 3.9 liter V8 engine. It comes with a 612 horsepower. Also, this car is a touring car, so this car can offer a very good driving experience. At the same time, you still keep the power and you still feel the power of a Ferrari. So this is something that you can use on a daily basis if you are the person who likes to have that power and uh, comfort in your sports car. Buyers have the option to customize their Ferrari Roma Spider, which arrives with a retail price that starts at 29.5 million pesos. This starts at 29.5 million. And then uh, this is uh, before you put any configuration. Ferrari offers an option for customers for them to be able to configure the car based on the way they like it. So you can change the color based on what you want. Stitches of uh, inside all the trims you can also choose. And there are a lot of options that you can do on this car based on exactly what and how you want it to be. Jatour Philippines gave the local motoring media a preview of the Jatour T2 SUV that it plans to formally launch at the Manila International Auto Show. Even before the official launch of the 4x4 SUV, Jatour has revealed that it will be retailed at 2.498 million pesos, which comes with what the local distributor describes as the best warranty in town. Also previewed was the limited edition dashing PHEV, which will also be officially unveiled in the Mias. Only 10 units of the limited edition Dashing PHEV will be made available locally. It comes in either oceanic blue or Icelandic white colors. The Dashing powertrain features an IDM plug-in hybrid system with a turbocharged 1.5-liter gasoline engine and two electric motors that generate 322 horsepower and 545 newton meters of torque. That is one thing that we are really proud of. Jetur offers the best warranty in town. We are offering six years or one million kilometers bumper to bumper. And we give 10 years warranty or one million kilometer for the engine. Most media ride and drive events take place out of town. The better to show the ride and handling prowess of the new models. Ford takes a different approach with its city-reimagined territory experiential drive. So we're here at Las Casas de Acuzar here in Quezon City, which is our final pit stop for today's uh, City Reimagined the Territory Experiential Drive. So we basically drove the Ford territory and explored a lot of hidden gems and cultural destinations in Quezon City, in the city of Manila, and really proving that the Ford territory is really perfect for urban driving and exploring for new adventures. During the event, Ford revealed that now is the best time to buy a territory. So good news to those who are about to buy a Ford territory titanium, most especially, you can avail of our territory five-star care promo, which entitles you to have 
free five-year warranty, free five-year scheduled service plan, and free five-year roadside assistance. So this is really an irresistible offer that you don't want to miss. So please check out our website as well as your Ford dealer to avail of this Territory 5 Star Care promo. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We should take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I'm Johan Tiu from Sonax Philippines. We are at LG2 e. Rodriguez and we will be showcasing our new DIY line, the what we call the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. The next one that we're gonna we're gonna show you how to use is a ceramic ultra slick detailer. So this product is your quick solution to instantly apply a ceramic coating on your car and also instantly clean it give it an instant gloss, instant solution for a gloss. So this is very easy to use. So you just spray on a clean microfiber cloth, then just apply it on the body of your car. Oh, but make sure your car is also clean and doesn't have any dirt. So after applying, spray some water, so you can see the water beading hydrophobic effect instantly. So this product can give you a ceramic coating that could last you around eight to 16 car washes. So there you go. So that's how easy it is to apply the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. For more information, you can visit our FB page, which is Sonax Page Official, our IG page, which is also Sonax Page Official, and TikTok page, which is also Sonax Page Official. So it's very easy to find us. Thank you. A moment can make all the difference. Don't put up a fight. Make your own decision. Oh, oh, oh. Next Gen Ford Territory. Own the moment. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on head-to-head. -head. This head-to-head -head pits the Hyundai Custin 1.5 TGDI Premium against the Maxus G10 Elite in a spec-to-spec -spec comparison. Hyundai brought in a new entry into the MPV van market, the Custin. One of the latest entries into this crowded market comes in two variants, the Hyundai Custom TGDI Premium and the 1.5 TGDI GLS. How does the top variant, the Custom TGDI Premium, compare to the Maxxis G10 Elite? The Hyundai Custom is 4,950mm long, 1,850mm wide, and 1,710mm tall, and clears the ground by 174mm. The Maxxis G10 Elite AT is longer, wider, and taller at 5,168 millimeters long, 1,980 millimeters wide, and 1,928 millimeters tall with a 3,198 millimeter wheelbase. The Hyundai Custom 1.5 TGDI Premium features glossy black parametric grille, 
LED multifaceted reflector headlamps, daytime running lights, position headlamps and rear combination lamps, body color outside door handles with chrome garnish, and rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp. The heated side view mirrors with integrated turn lights power, adjust, and fold. The custom premium also comes with chrome belt line molding, dual sunroof, and powered sliding doors and tailgate, and 18-inch alloy wheels with 55 series tires. The G10 features projector halogen headlights, front and rear fog lamps, LED rear combination lamps, side view mirrors that adjust electronically and have integrated turn lights, and 16-inch alloy wheels. The Hyundai Custom is a 7-seater MPV. All seats are upholstered in leather. On the Custom Premium, both driver and front passenger seats slide and recline electronically. The second row features two premium relaxation seats that electronically slide and recline, are ventilated and heated, and come with leg rests or ottomans, as well as memory function. The third row features a bench-type seat for three. The Custom comes with full digital instrument cluster with 4.2-inch LCD, leather-wrapped multifunction steering wheel that can be tilted. Standard convenience features include smart key entry and push start button, power windows, day and night rear view mirror, sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors, automatic air conditioning system with auto controls up front and manual in the rear. Driving the Custom is easy. The leather app multifunction steering wheel can be tilted to preferred driving position. Motor driven power steering adds to the ease of driving the Custom. It may take a bit of getting used to, but the push-button shift console in the Custom also adds to convenience. The Maxxis G10 is a 9-seat minivan with seats upholstered in leather fabric. The driver's seat can be adjusted 10 ways electronically, the front passengers 4 ways. The sliding door opens to the rear cabin with 4 captain's chairs and a bench seat for 3. The captain's chairs slide and recline to get the most legroom and comfort for 4. The rear bench seat for three reclines for comfort and tumbles. The G10 also comes with four-spoke steering wheel with buttons and controls for audio and other functions. The G10 cabin features front and rear reading lights, front and rear air conditioning, driver and front passenger power windows. It also comes with a 220-volt outlet aside from the 12-volt outlet that doubles as lighter. A 10.4-inch display for multi-function infotainment system dominates the center of the dash of the Custom. The infotainment system features AM FM radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, USB, and Bluetooth with voice recognition function. The Maxxis G10 audio system features a 7-inch touchscreen display with USB and Bluetooth connectivity. The Custom rolled out on local shores is powered by the 1.5 LTGDI gasoline engines that maxes out at 170 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. This is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with four selectable drive modes, Smart, Comfort, Eco, and Sport. The suspension system features front McPherson struts and coupled torsion beam axle in the rear, tuned to make rides very comfortable and quiet. The Custom brake system uses 16-inch discs on all four wheels. The G10 is powered by a 1.9-liter turbocharged CRDI diesel engine that can deliver 150 PS and 350 newton meters of torque and meets Euro 4 emission standards. Power and torque are sent to the rear wheels via a six-speed automatic transmission. The Maxxis G10 suspension features McPherson struts in front and five-link coil springs in the rear. The brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The Custom 1.5 TGDI Premium arrived with SmartSense, what Hyundai calls its suite of advanced driver assistance system, to make driving and riding the luxurious MPV all the more safer, easier and more convenient on urban streets, open highways, as well as parking. Aside from cruise control, SmartSense includes manual speed limit assist, forward collision avoidance assist, Lane Keeping Assist, Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, Safe Exit Assist, High Beam Assist, Lane Following Assist, Rear Cross Collision Avoidance Assist, Parking Distance Warning, Rear Occupant Alert, Surround View Monitor. Standard for safety in both custom variants are Electronic Stability Control, Anti-Lock Braking System, Hill Start Assist Control, Electric Parking Brake with Auto Hold, Dual Front Airbags, Side and Curtain Airbags, Child Anchors, Manual Child Lock System, tire pressure monitoring system and immobilizer. The G10 comes with standard driver assist and safety technology that includes anti-lock brake system, 
with electronic brake force distribution and cruise control. Added for safety and security are dual airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side airbags, three-point seat belts for nine, ISOFIX south seat, and immobilizer. Parking is made easier with front and rear parking sensors and reverse camera. The G10 has more seating capacity but less amount of ADAS features. The Gustin Premium has more advanced features but is priced higher. It should interest those choosing between the G10 and the Gustin that there is a lesser priced Gustin, the GLS variant, which has fewer ADAS tech. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fixed Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fixed Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash Service. Zoom UX. Take the lead. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. This special feature gives us highlights of the recent GAC GS3 M Zoom Media Drive. It may explain why the M Zoom is the best selling model lineup on GAC Motor. What we are having today is the first GAC ride and drive with our media partners and friends uh, for 2024, where we are showcasing the all-new GS3 M-Zoom, our best-selling GAC model for 2023. The event for today is for the GAC GS3 M-Zoom. We planned the drive so that you could try all the different features of the car. So we start out on the highways where we would try your adaptive cruise control, see how the lane keep assist works and things in that nature. No? Then we got off and we went to like through New Valley, a bit of a more urban but still suburban roads. Then we start to climb Tagaytay through a, a rather unique way which had a little bit of dirt road, but mostly the more important part was when you started to climb, you could put it now to sports mode. From eco mode, we switched to sports mode. Then suddenly the torque and the nature of the throttle suddenly changes a lot. So with just slight 
touches to your throttle, your, even how steep the road was with the sharp turns, just could come up like this. So it was nice to have all that torque. Also, the rubber, the, the tires were really good. So the grip on the corners, the handling of the car was was really nice, especially in those sections. You know, it's winding, it's uphill, so you need to use all those functions of the car, you know? Until finally we reached here to have a nice lunch. On the way back, no it will be more cruising, more in the comfort mode. Highways back to Alabang. The GS3 M Zoom has three models. It comes in the GS. It starts at 998, 1,000 pesos. The GB at 1098, and then the top of the line of the R style at 1.198 million. For the price that you pay for the M Zoom, regardless if it's the GS, the GB, or the R style, you get so much value in terms of the features, the engine being a 1.5 turbo engine that allows you to go from 0 to 100 in under 8 seconds. The interior of the R style is very plush with leather seats. Infotainment system is amazing. Uh, the R style comes with 19 inch Pilot Sport Michelin tires. You get all of that at just 1.198 million. If you want like a high-end subcompact SUV at a really accessible price, I guess that's what makes the M Zoom so popular with the market right now. So I'd like to invite anyone out there who is actually in the market for a new subcompact SUV. Come and visit us in all our GAC dealerships nationwide to check out the all-new GS3 engine. The M-Zoom is just one of the impressive models that Chinese automaker GAC Motor offers in the country. GAC is certainly helping automakers and distributors from China gain more acceptance in the local market. Beyond Limits, where the all-new Mitsubishi Triton. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the Volkswagen T-Cross SE. 
Volkswagen Philippines started this year's campaign for the T-Cross by rolling out new colors, McKenna Turquoise, Pure White, and Moonstone Gray. In addition to Syringa Violet, Tribu Yellow, and Romance Red, the new colors are meant to emphasize VW's wish to paint the T-Cross as a subcompact crossover SUV for the hip and trendy crowd. The colors certainly succeed in making the T-Cross attractive to the younger and more dynamic generation. Nevertheless, at 4,218mm long, 1,760mm wide, and 1,599mm tall, and with a 2,651mm wheelbase, the T-Cross with less quirky colors can be described as elegantly handsome with straight sharp lines in profile. The front bumper, air dam, skid plate add sporty to words that can describe the T-Cross, as do the roof rails, the front fog lamps with corner light function, the rear spoiler. For 2023, the T-Cross SE still features LED headlights, but now with auto-on function. Also featured are daytime running lights, rear fog lamp, electric outside rear view mirrors with side turn lamps, panoramic sunroof, 17-inch alloy wheel strap by 205-55R17 tires. The T-Cross SE is also equipped with the what Volkswagen calls the Cassie Entry Go system that allows one to get into and start the T-Cross with key fob in pocket. <laughs> Volkswagen likes to point out that the T-Cross is a subcompact SUV with compact segment interior dimensions. The T-Cross cabin is certainly roomier than many of its competitors. The interior panel and trim is colored match to the exterior which adds to the youthful appeal of the T-Cross. The seats in the SE use a combination of leather and fabric upholstery with stitching that also matches exterior colors. The front seats still adjust manually, six ways for the driver and four ways for the passenger. The rear seat bench folds to create more luggage space if necessary. The race seat feels comfortable, especially with the well bolstered bucket seats up front. From the comfort of this raised bucket seat, the driver can get all the information he needs from the active info display that can be customized, as well as a good view of the road in front and around him. Also within view, front and center of the center of the dash is this 9.2 touchscreen display of the T-Cross infotainment system that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and four speakers. The infotainment system can be controlled using hand gestures, as well as controls on the multi-function steering wheel. In front are USB Type-A and Type-C portals for charging and Apple CarPlay connection. Type-A and Type-C ports are available in the rear but only for charging devices. Other comfort and convenience features include air conditioning with pollen filter and rear vent, one touch up and down power windows, and central door locking. Driving the T-Cross seems almost effortless, especially with the electronic power steering tuned for those who prefer it light. The T-Cross is powered by a 1,498cc four-cylinder engine that generates 113 PS and 145 Nm of torque. A six-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission with sport mode sends power and torque to the front wheels. Volkswagen claims the T-Cross can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 13.3 seconds. Top speed is placed at 185 km per hour. The T-Cross cabin is relatively quiet, riding on a suspension system using independent front McPherson struts and semi-independent composite torsion beams in the rear to absorb road imperfections. Stopping power comes from a brake system using disc on all wheels, ventilated in the front, solid in the rear. The T-Cross also comes with passive and active driver assist technologies. These include anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, hill hold control, anti-slip regulation, and electronic stabilization program. Equipped for safety or driver and front passenger airbags, side airbags, head curtains, 3-point ELR seat belts, and isofix tethers. Rear parking distance control and rear camera make it easier and safer to maneuver into narrow slots and crowded lots. Finally, the Volkswagen T-Cross also comes with immobilizer and tire pressure monitor. There's more than the new colors that should make the Volkswagen T-Cross SE more attractive to the younger or even the older generation. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. 
Now granted, this is not the most straightforward answer because it gives you a lot of different numbers and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, <laughs> I have no idea what this is and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. Uh, we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands, different branding, but the important thing is this one here, these numbers. SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two, it's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no-brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and every brand has their own. The same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from, the additional processing after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany, there's no oil pump from France, there's no oil pump from the Philippines, no. All of these things come from Saudi Arabia. The oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material, which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is, any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter, but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So, as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris in, from inside the engine, it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. In honor of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, We Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy. <laughs>